All right, welcome back, everybody. So we're just gonna be playing a little bit more Mystery Dungeon today. I shouldn't have let that hover on Delete Save for some reason. Beat all the legendary birds. We're just we're doing regular rescue missions right now, I guess. That's the rule. Good morning, did you sleep well? All right, we're gonna get back to doing rescues. Flap, 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 flap. Hang on a second. There we go. Just had to adjust a little volume slider right there. What do you got for me, Pelipper? Mouth mail? And look, Pelipper's bringing us mail already. We've been accepted back into society. Let's try to do our best like we always did. All right. Check job. I fainted. Well, that's not Mount Blaze, so I'm gonna go check the bulletin board. This guy passed out in the middle of Mount Blaze, and he managed to send a distress letter. Bulletin board, Sinister Woods. Okay, so... Alright, I guess we're doing this stuff, huh? Alright, let's do the Sinister Wood missions. Sinister Woods. Let's go back and find the other dude. Fun fact, the new male is the only place in the game that the player is referred to with a pronoun. What do you mean? Exactly where? A letter from Pelipper? This one? Yo, amigo, it's awesome you're back. I'll be delivering mail to you again. I've been looking forward to this. My, I'll deliver tons of mail. You better be ready, amigo. Is that... Is this the one you're referring to? You should store your mail. Oh, okay, you're right. Must have been different mail. Okay. I fainted, except, and let's see, job list, 8th floor, 12th floor, how heartless must it be to delete a rescue request, especially one that came to your mailbox. Alright, Frosty Forest, Silent Sinister Woods, all the way back to this dungeon, the fourth one. Let's do it. There's a rep newsletter reporting on the Fugitive Arc. Okay. Here we go. We're just doing regular missions today. We're gonna have some fun. Get some things done. Obviously, Gengar levels of Heartless. Yes, sir. -y. Mm. All right. Burn the Oddish alive. That's all good. Okay. Do happy little movement and stuff. By the way, you know what I don't understand lately? with this playthrough is I keep having a lot of people messaging me about pressing B and A to pass time. And did, did I not, did I not show that I, that I knew that in episode one? <laughs> Cause people are still messaging me about that. Like I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did that specifically when I showed off the sinister force, remember? So I don't understand why so many people are talking to me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> Christian, if you press B and A, you can you skip through. You can skip turns faster. It's like, yes, you did. Press B and A to pass time. It's like, it's like, yo, if only I did that somewhere. Oh, we got all, look at all the comedians now, telling me, to, telling me to press B and A. Should have expected that. This is the internet. If someone, if someone makes a joke, it is the law that someone will repost the joke. If only you've played this game before. Perhaps! I blew some people's minds by, uh, showing that you can turn the dungeon speed to fast, though. A lot of people didn't know that, apparently. Getting extra experience and stuff from around here is also ain't bad, but it's only, like, the cocoons and stuff, you know? Not getting a whole lot. How close am I to leveling up? 3,000. Oh, boy. That's like 30 cocoons. Bop down. Where can I find it? Where can I find it? And as I say that, I'm slouching. I'm f I'm just slouching in my seat like a big dum-dum. Just use tackle for a little more effectiveness. Speed, rather. Absorb. 
Got it down. Just don't have back issues, bro. Well, I'm just sitting like a I'm just sitting like a moron in my chair, leaning over like an idiot. Christian, I was telling you last time that BNA is a great free heal. Yeah, I know. But I also don't need to stop and use it every every five seconds. You've reached destination floor. Let's find a person. We gotta save them. While also beating up anyone that gets in our way. Even if we find them while asleep. Gummies! Alright, now let's see if we can get you to eat this. Eat it! He got smarter by eating candy. Go down, for crying out loud. Oh, there you are. Yes, Sunkern was found! Yes! Yes, indeed, get in there. Come see me at the post office later, escape from the dungeon. No, I will not leave. I will continue with my adventure because it is the best adventure that will ever be had. Except no wonder tile. Next one, floor 12. I want to go to Mount Blaze to farm red gummies, but I also just want to find rescue missions to do while I'm there, you know what I mean? No, no, no. Face him. Burn him alive! The last seed fell on the ground. And let's go up here. Bop. Okay. Oh, Ladybug. It's only Ladybug. Ladybug is awful. Awful Pokemon. Sister Woods, floor 10. Standard. Hmm. I wonder, is there like... A way to, um... Grass gummy. Hang on. Pick it off the ground and throw it. You got efficiency expert. Nice. Is there, like, a cap on, um... How much your... How much your IQ can go up before you reach post-game? I may have asked this already. I don't remember. Because if I just, like, f spent a while farming red gummies on Mount Blaze... Could I just get super mobile right away? Nope, there isn't. No. If you throw candy off the floor, you get smarter. That's the rule. One more floor to go. We're not really getting much experience here because this is only dungeon four. I really, I really should have had more more stuff clear to my mailbox. Go away, slack off. I don't need you in this dumb ass dungeon. Let's see now. Getting extra money and stuff is all right. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. You need to go. Ninety. Getting hungry. Yeah, good for me. I'm almost done anyway. Go in here. Okay, that's a long floor. Burn the Scyther. Of course it's called Sinister Woods, because it's very sinister. A Hooter is here. I'm just now remembering last episode when we were somehow we somehow ended up talking about how there was a Resident Evil cafe. That was basically comparable to a Hooters. I still can't believe that's real. Because it's very stupid. I'm just gonna eat an apple, because why not? Oh, I have Gravel Rock set. I gotta remember that. I forgot about set items for some reason. Yes, an owl is a Hooter. Did you not know that? What are you, dumb? Gosh. How does the Executor give less experience than beating a Shroomish? I question that. Who's in charge of this experience stuff? How does Ariados get lost in the woods? We can go ahead and leave. End of the dungeon. Okay, so if I... Let me, I'll check again to see if I uh, can get any Mount Blaze missions. We'll find out. Ten rescue points. Congratulations! We went from normal rank to bronze rank. Right. 
Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward, the promised purple gummy. Purple gummy. Ten rescue points. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. Would you like to save your adventure? By the way, by the way, when I was talking about Coffin of Ashes earlier, uh, again, I'll, I'll probably be finishing that Friday when I get home. Finishing or continuing at the very least. Just wanted to relax with Mystery Dungeon and Don't Starve today. Just do nothing games, kind of. But um, I'm, I'm gonna try and find some more RPG stuff that I think would be better suited to a stream. Because again, I, I did am genuinely enjoying that game, but I think I'm only enjoying it because it's more fun to do as a stream. A game like that is kind of a little too boring to play on my own. Oopsie. Check mail. Pokemon News Extra. Read. He met with Ninetales on Mount Freeze. Oh, c cool. He did call me a he here. Christian Innocent, part one. Met with Ninetales on Mount Freeze. Ninetales testified that Christian was not the human that appeared in the legend. As a result, the Gengar Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. Clearly dismayed Gengar, quote. <laughs> Uh, do I prefer longer or, or shorter RPG Maker games? That kind of a too broad of a question to answer. I just want them to be good and entertaining, and have cute art. This sounds. This reads like a shit post, doesn't it? You know, I can just imagine. You know what the remake should do? They should make the incident with Nine Tails. That entire section of the game should just be like an Ace Attorney trial. That'd be cool. Or accepting rescue jobs. I've never read this. When you want to go on a job, accept job. Oh, cool. Store. Let's run over here. Get in here. Bulletin board. Please help me. Great Canyon. Mount Freeze. Mount Freeze. Jeez, I'm ready to go to Mount Blaze on my own. You know, I've never really gone in here. What is the purpose of this again? Well, hello there. This is Friend Rescue. Okay, this is what this is. Well, hello there. This is Friend Rescue. It's the same service, I guess. I'm your guide to what you can expect. Do you have questions? Please ask me. Okay. I just realized I never really go in here, so I just wanted to check. What do you think, son? Isn't the sea wonderful? Yes, Papa. Papa? Papa, can you swim? Of course! What do you take us for? Oh, so you can swim. Papa, you're so special. Whoa. Bulletin board. Uh, gosh dang it. I'll take, I'll take these, but I still want to go to Mount Blaze to get some gummies. It wouldn't hurt to get extra experience by doing that anyway, since apparently, um, I'm so sorry, I was fully convinced of your guilt. But I'm glad to hear you are free from that cloud of suspicion. I'll never give you- I'll never- wait, what? I'll never give you my business again! I hope you won't say that. Oh, okay. I was confused for a second. Let me sell stuff first. Uh, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? I don't need this anymore. Sell it. Plain seed. Good. Done deal. What do you wish to sell? Anything else? Multiple reviver seeds. Link box. Purple gummy. Hmm. Yeah, that line is weird. Guess I can store the rest, but what is else does he have? No revivers. What about you? I'm so sorry. I was convinced that you had to be the one. I'm very ashamed that I treat a valuable customer with such disdain and suspicion. It isn't just you, my brother. I am guilty of the same. My brother. My brother. We both promise we will not repeat the same mistake. I will do my best to obtain even better technical machines and orbs. I hope you for your continued patronage. Welcome to Kekleon Wares. Bye. I don't remember people having dialogue. Brick Break. Ooh, that sounds kind of nice. What do you guys think? Should I get Brick Break? I think that's a good one. Hmm. Yeah, it does. I think that line does need quotation marks. A brick break, you say? Thank you so much. A very good choice. No, no, no. Let's talk to the other people. I don't remember people 
So what became Alakazam's team? Did they head, head underground? Groudon. The mythical Pokemon. It is rather worrying, but I suppose it is Alakazam's team. They should be just fine. Oh no, I thought you were completely guilty. I'm sorry you had to go through such a miserable time. We got conned by Gengar. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry for what happened. Sorry for suspecting you. This is what separates the Pokemons from the humans. They can admit they were wrong about things once facts come to light. I expected this. I thought there had to be a mistake. I mean, look at you. You don't look the sort who can be up to no good. I'll keep looking after your things, dear, as you can always count on me. All right, let's store things. They have dialogue after after major events and explorers. I think they do this too. All right. I have hiccup there, sorry. Let's see. Two orange berries. A blast seed. I don't need all my reviver seeds right now. Store them these with the link box. I'm just doing regular missions. Okay, that should be good. Thank you, sweetie. Come again. Now, let's see. Brick break. Who can learn it? No one in the current team can learn the move. Perfect. I guess I'll store this then. I was hoping there was a weird shot in the dark Cyndaquil could learn it, but whatever. It's still a good TM to have, I think. Can I eat gummies outside? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I gotta go to the bank and store my money. Moomin Team Base. Moomin did lots of fun things. I do apologize. I How could I run a bank without trusting clients? I promise to satisfy all your banking needs from now on. I hope you'll stay. Welcome to Felicity Bank. Your account now contains that. All right, store some money. Chat, I'm wondering, as a child, have you ever done the mistake of accidentally taking out all your money in order to go shopping? And then forgetting to put it back in the bank and then losing it all? I feel like someone had to have done this. Maybe I did and I just forgot about it, but... Mm. I believed in you. Because you're my friend. Friends are my treasures. Welcome to Wigglytuff Club. Circle of friends. You like to add to your friend areas? Which one should I buy? I just put all my money away, but... Rub-a-dub river? Transform forest. Flyaway forest, overgrown forest, jungle, decrepit lab, thunder meadow, magnetic quarry. Mount Discipline sounds fun. I don't feel like buying those. I don't feel like recruiting people until like post game and stuff. I don't really need to take out. I guess I should go get. Yeah, I'll go get Kuda. So why not? It's trying to keep a straight face, but it can't stop laughing. Kuda's, try Kuda's trying to tell a joke, but just, just can't stop. Power band. How about I give you a purple gummy? Why not? It appears just a little satisfied. Kuda learned PP checker. Special attack rose by one. Wait, gummies can increase... Gummies can increase stats since when? Let's go. Is it only when you give stuff in the, uh, in the actual base there? Mount Freeze. I don't need to accept the job. I'm going to Mount Blaze. We're going to go to the summit where we can try and farm gummies a little bit. Only in friend areas. So I want to save gummies only for friend areas then. Wait. Only in friend areas. So... Quick question, if I were to get my red gummies now, is there any way for me to eat the gummies in my friend area? Because I can't switch leaders, right? Chat, am I able to do this for Cyndaquil? Okay, actually, here's a better question. Even when you max out your IQ, um, is there a point where you can never eat gummies again? I think that's what I, a more accurate way to question things. Like, if I max out my IQ, hypothetically, by gather by eating a hundred red gummies right now, and then later I gave I went to the friend area and gave Cyndaquil or me more red gummies, and I couldn't get more IQ, but I'd still get stat increases. Could I? 
You can still eat gummies, but they don't raise IQ. You can always eat gummies. Okay, mister. Die already. Die, please. Huggy grew level 19. They still have a chance at raising stats, yes. Foresight. Ew. Get that weak shit out of here, Huggy. Special attack went up one. Silver gummy. Orange gummy. If that's the case, I guess I'll start saving the, the other gummies, if that's how it works. Even with max IQ, you can still eat gummies and raise stats. All right, then. Hey, wait a second. There's someone over there. You don't belong in this line. Take it down. Let's go to the summit. I think Foresight works different in this game. Well, what does it do? It's still probably Garbo, and I don't want it. I'm willing to take that risk. Take a turn. Destroyed. Yeah, come on. I was hoping I'd be able to one-shot things but here by now, but I guess not. We gotta keep going forward. Get stronger. It makes your damage constant. Is that what Foresight does? Switch my IQ skills on, please. Alright, which ones? Which ones? What does it matter? Which one do I need to put on? I thought exclusive move user was enough. What do we need? PP. All right, fine. There you go. Wait. You can't have. Yeah, okay. You can't have one or the other. Apparently. You sure? Oh rip. I guess they conflict. I hate how this works in Rescue. So, alright. If that didn't go as planned, do you want it on or not? Which one? Bop, 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 bop. Did you just want... I, I hope you didn't just want PP checker for the memes. PP's better than move, in my opinion. Alright, I'll leave it on for you then. Get bop, noodle. That was a slip of the tongue, but you know what? I'm gonna roll with it. From now on, Numel is Noodle. Everybody, gang up on the baby. Gotta get to the summit and get all them gummies. So from now on, I'll, I'll make an attempt to store miscellaneous gummies in this in um, Kangaskhan's place. That should work out pretty well for me. Uh, okay. And then I'll just start giving them to other people. Then again, I when I gave a gummy to Absol, uh, that purple gummy is in, is like for poison or something, isn't it? Yeah, pink is pink is um psychic. What what is dark type? Black gummy, right? So I guess you can get stat increases. Yeah, uh, if it, even if it's not the right gummy, I don't know. Gold is psychic. Gold is psychic. Okay, then what's pink and purple then? Which one's poison on that? Fairy type doesn't exist yet, so. Oopsie. Stat boosts are random. It doesn't matter what gummies you feed your teammates. Oh. Gold is Psychic, Pink is Poison, Purple is Ghost. Oh, okay, I just forgot Ghost type existed for a second there. I don't know how. What's that? Hidden Power. I don't think we need that. Orange is Fighting. Is there Silver Gummies? For, like, Steel type? Or is that Gray Gummy? Clear Gummy is Ice type. 
Royal Gummy is Dragon. I don't think I've ever seen Dragon Gummy before, huh? Why are you posting walkthrough information for for Coffin of Ashes right now? Like, I don't know if you're trying to meme or not, but that's just a, kind of an annoying wall of text to just plop into chat there. Here we go. Let's go up. Uh oh. My bad. He got a burn, and now he warped. Accidental warp seed. Oh yeah, that's right. Bug is green, and um, grass gummy is for grass types, because they couldn't think of anything else. You know, that kind of bugs me now that I'm thinking about it. How disgusting does, it, does something like a grass gummy sound? Yeah. You okay, Mudkip? Yeah, I'd be fine. Up the floor we go. I guess I can get myself some good old fashioned free rocks. All right, I'm out. Boop, boop. Who thought you'd find rocks on a mountain? Are gravel rocks actually rocks, or are they just pieces of gravelers that died? Whoa. Keep going, not at the summit yet. Gotta get red gummies. I mean, I guess it kind of sucks that I can't get the stat increases. I'm sorry, maybe I missed it earlier. Did someone say if I, uh... If there's a way for me to... Am I, can I raise... Huggy and myself's um, stats with gummies, or do I have to wait till post game where I can change the team order? Smack him. Smack the pony. That's right, frustration. Huggy will always be in the friend area, if I recall correctly. Leader is post-game only. Guess that makes sense. So I can give gummies to Huggy for the time being. Alright. I don't think I really need to, like, uh... Save scum or let myself intentionally die or anything. This is just a single trip. I'm not gonna, like, farm a billion of them. Alright. So let's map, let's check out, mm -mm, sorry, my throat here. We're gonna take out as much as we can. I get a heal at that little rest stop. Huggy needs huggies. You mean like the diapers? This is not a sponsored stream. I did not name him that to sell diapers. Let's go. So just getting red gummies will increase my IQ, which is fine, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Even if I don't get the stat increases. I can still boost Huggy stats a little bit. There's one, let's eat it. Mmm, IQ went up. This universe doesn't even need Rick and Morty. It has candy. I strangely have an urge to buy diapers now. Do you have a child that requires diapers? I don't can't see why you else you need them. Ember. Yay. Oh, all right. There's the stairs, but we gotta look for gummies. We're gonna eat ground candy. Ground candy. Mmm, dirty candy. That's why I'm the leader. Take him down, Huggy. If 
you want to get most of your gummies, it's best to pay attention to type matchups. Same type is obviously best. Then types you're weak against, then neutral. Then types you resist are immune to, so... You gave me a ghost type gummy and it didn't do much. Okay. Is that how it works? I thought it was just, um... You either have the right type or you don't. So there was only two levels of, of a gummy in intelligence increase. I can't believe that's a term I just had to say out loud. Pop. Sure, but you still gain IQ faster consuming every gummy you come across rather than play paying specific attention to gummy types. I mean... You're not wrong. <laughs> it seems like it just would be faster that way anyway, wouldn't it? I already found some good gummies here, but I haven't got my next uh, IQ IQ skill. I take vitamin D gummies. Well, good for you. Dislikes are the one you resist. Um, what was I opening up this for. I meant to go into moves. I'm an idiot. Bop him. Bop man of existence. I mean, gummies also fill bellies differently, depending on your likes, but... Uh oh Oopsie. Oh, Huggy cringed. He just cringed, bro. I knew that. Huggy's no longer cringing. Oh, boy. His only other option is Magnemite. Oh, yes, the Magnemite that I'm totally gonna use. All right, looks like that's everything. This is a good thing to come for experience. Oh, really, I missed. Don't do that. No, wrong one. Huggy posting cringe on main. He's gonna lose subs, bro. Let's go. Red Gummy. Good job. Absol's got some pretty damn good attack, I guess. Red Gummy. IQ went up significantly. Man, how long does it take? I don't even know. Bop him. All right. Bop him. Just get him out of the way. Might as well give Kuda that power band. I'm pretty sure everybody has a band right now. Let's see. Special band. Power band. Yep, power band. Everyone's already got one. Down here. Ground gummy. I love ground candy. Type it. Oh, okay. I got two of them. Hang on a second. Uh, dedicated traveler. What was the one I got? It's a type advantage master. Pokemon's critical hit, hit rate is boosted when attacking foes with a type disadvantage. Oh yes, that's good. Quick dodger. Pokemon becomes better at evading attacks and moves. Look at that. Oh, okay. It's one or the other, chat. Which one do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Do I, d it defense or offense? I'm more of an offense person. Mm, I think I'm gonna stick with offense. Maybe I could remember to switch it to defense for a boss I'm, I won't work on anyway. Hang on a second. Sorry, let me, let me just double check that. Pokemon's critical hit rate is boosted when attacking foes with a type disadvantage. So basically... Anything I'm super effective against. See? It helps. IQ is good. Smokescreen is for dodging. Gotcha, bro. Gotcha, bro. Let's keep looking around a bit. Up here... We're in the lovely, happy world of Mount Blaze. Where nothing ever goes wrong. We eat candy off the ground because we are classy people. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. 
Now I gotta take them down. Bop them. Stairs over here. Mount Blaze Peak. Oh. Am I gonna have to fight? What's his face again? There appears to be no one here. It's impossible to go any further. It's time to go back. Can't fight him again till post game. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Fix how I see. Dispatch the friend areas. Save your adventure. Save completed. Wake up. All right, so... Good morning. Am I gonna be able to give Huggy gummies in the... in the friend area, though? That's the one I, people said I could, but let's confirm that. Can't visit Huggy. Can I go to the place he's at, though? Eastern Forest. Mist Rise Forest. No, no, wrong one. Ah, oh, for God's sakes. Marsh. Peanut Swamp! Uh, friend. No, it doesn't work. Huggy is locked to post game. Lame. I guess I'll just give gummies to Kuda then. How about that? Uh, where is it? Mountain Range, Darkness Ridge. Here, eat gummies. Like this place a lot. Give gummy. Eat them all. IQ went up. Defense rose by one. Efficiency expert. Attack rose by one. Special defense rose by one. Well, that was effective. Now I'll just get you to join me again. I can't talk to partner. No, it wouldn't let me. Consume snack. First, let me check the mailbox, actually. Let me do that. I gotta do rescue missions. Check mail. Hurry! Pokemon News Extra. Christian Innocent. Quote from Charizard on the scene. That's what I thought right from the start. Ha 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 ha. Quote from Tyranitar. That muck, muck-raking Gengar. He's not getting away with this. He better be ready for it. Uh-oh. Getting hungry? While you're exploring a dungeon, you will get progressively hungry. Your belly goes down. If you become famished, you will eventually lose HP and even faint. That's why you should eat something to fill your belly. You can always buy food at Kecleon Shop. Let's see if there's any more Mount Freeze missions. Bulletin board. Frosty Forest. All right. Oh, now now somebody wants to get help at the top of Mount Blaze. Well, too late, mister. Oh, there's two of them. Too late. I'm not going... I don't want to go back. I'm going to do my Mount Freeze missions. How about that? Eighth floor, 13th floor. Let's go do that instead. Let's go save some people. What do I have on me? Nothing really. I guess I could sell the hidden power to him. Very well, what do you wish to sell? Nope. Buy. What do you got for me? Facade Thief. Ironic. Hmm. I don't know about Facade. That's fine. Let me just store my money in case of an emergency now. Hmm. Very well, I'll guard it jealously. More than enough stuff, so let's get going. Mount Freeze for a few missions. I think it was 8 and 13. 
I like how the first time you come to these places, everyone's just like, wow, no one's ever come this far before. And then, but everyone did come this far before. Another special band. I don't know if I really need to give that to Huggy, though. Mount Freeze. You know, it would make a lot of sense if um, the, the Ninetales that lives at the top of Mount Freeze turned out to be the Alolan Ninetales. Actually, I'm just now thinking about that. Uh, quick question. Are, are regional variants in the in the remake? Did they do that? I'm only just now thinking about that. If they put in Mega Evolutions, that could be a cool thing to include as well. Not that I saw from the data mines. I'll ask. Because I never... I, I'm only just now thinking about that. Because if they were going to change anything significant, I could honestly see them changing Ninetales at Mount Freeze to be the Ice-type Ninetales. Maybe they'll give the Doug, Doug Trio his his luscious, luscious locks. How about that? It would be neat, but Alolan Ninetales doesn't have the Tail Curse lore. I guess that's true. But... What, what what does the Pokedex say about uh, Alolan Ninetales again? I don't even know or remember. I just remember Alolan Bullpex is just a little cute thing and I want to pat it on the head. Let's quick attack, bro. They'll add Alolan Dunk Trio as the mom. I don't think anything would fit the lore anyway. Let's not pretend that the lore of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, it makes sense. Let's never pretend that's the case. Go upstairs. What is this now? Heal Ribbon. I, think I should sell some of these extra equip stuffs. Equip stuffs. Stuffy stuffs. Money's always good, every little bit helps. Alone Vulpix is adorable. Saw nothing about regional variants being discussed in the data mine chat. Okay. I mean, whatever. Not a big deal if they're not. I just kind of, I just got curious. So I, I guess, since you already know the answer, Miner, probably. So does DX just have the poke the same Pokemon that was in the original game? So basically every Pokemon up to Gen 3 plus their Mega Evolutions. Don't tell me anything like super. Spo I don't know if that, that question uh, can spoil anything, but I'm just wondering. It's kind of just what I'm assuming. It might be kind of a, cl a kind of a clusterfuck. <laughs> Maybe they put in extra dungeons with some extra Pokemon? I don't know. Bop them. Inexperience. How close am I to leveling up now? 1,000. 194. Okay. Is your attack and defense... Wait, what? Why does the attack and defense say... Why is it red? Is it because the power band's increasing it? That's a weird way to show that. Yeah, it is. It's because the special band's on him. Huh. I think Togekiss is in DX. Yes, that would make sense to include... DX has everything up to Gen 3, plus anything that evolves to from something in the first two generations. Yes, that makes perfect sense to me. Including everything that was before, plus their additional forms. So, does that mean every single Mega... Is, would be included then. Come to think of it, what is it? One of the only. A lot of the Megas are. Um, I, Gen 5 had a Mega Adino, but. Was there a lot of Gen 4 Megas? I don't remember. It's mostly. Poke, it was mostly, uh. Older Pokemon, wasn't it? So, yeah, it would make it only Adino that isn't there. I forgot Mega Adino existed for a while. Mega Chomp, Mega Lucario. 
Metagross is... Oh yeah, Garchomp. That's what you meant by Chomp. You already know that Alakazam's team is the Mega Rescue Team. Oh yeah. They're gonna unleash their final forms. Oh yeah, Mega Absol. That'll be cool. Bet you're excited for that, Kuda. Honestly, I can see that um, using a lot of Megas I kind of neglected in uh, the 3DS era because they felt kind of pointless, but I think I'd be excited to use a lot of them for Mystery Dungeon. I prefer normal Absol. Okay, then. No Gen 2 Megas. There was no Gen 2... Scizor is, a, Scizor is a Gen 2 Pokemon. Yeah, there's Mega Scizor. That's a Gen 2 one. Ampharos. Yes, it's another one. Houndoom. Steelix. I think you're forgetting a few things, person. Heracross. Yeah, there's plenty of them. What are you talking about? Isn't, oh yeah, technically Team Meanies would have Megas as well. Mega Medicham and Mega Gengar. And there's, there's just Ekans there for some reason. Yeah, we already said Steelix. Let's bop this guy here. Okay, let's not bop him. Let's burn him now. We got him. Free max elixir. I think it's still floor 13 I need to get to. Have I? I leveled up, I guess, so I guess I didn't notice. My character's close. That'll be useful. Can trigger the next part of the story after this mission. There's the stairs. Mega Ekans. Well, oh, free floor, I guess. I like how Cyndaquil wiggles when he's when he walks. He looks like he's made of jello, doesn't he? Uh oh, Slacking. Forgot he lives on Mount Freeze. And he gives a whole 172. He was just minding his own business, and I just had to destroy him. Final floor. May as well beat some things up. It's over here. Oh, there's the Illumise. Well, I guess never mind. I'm done. Gained a magical power. Come see me at Pelt Post Office. You really want to leave? Yes, I do. Completed a mission. I hate how it highlights the increase with red. It looks so, that looks like I have a decrease. Thank you for rescu rescuing Weedle. You're welcome. Here's your reward. Red gummy. 60 rescue points. Wow. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward. Heal seed. 60 points. Look at that. We're moving up in the world. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Alrighty. Oops. Didn't mean to. It's time for a dream, everybody. This. That dream again. It's been a while. Your. Gardevoir. He's dreaming of Gardevoir again. Yes. Gardevoir. There's so much I want to ask you. Why do you appear in my dreams? As an agent of spirits, I must watch over you. Because that is my role now. An agent of spirits. Yes, I fell under the curse of Ninetales in the place of a trainer. and became a presence without a physical form like this. A uh, trainer? You mean the human that was in the legend about Ninetales? It's awful that your trainer would abandon you and run away. Yes. My trainer was a terrible person. Mean and conniving. My trainer wasn't a nice person, truly. But I don't hate my trainer. That sounds like the Stockholm Syndrome setting in. Huh? Don't hate your trainer? 
Why not? Well, I wonder why myself. I don't quite understand. My trainer did some terrible things, but somehow I can't bring myself to feel hatred. My trainer had some quirks, but there were also good qualities too. And when it happened, I was desperate. When it happens, you mean Ninetales' is curse? Yes. I protected my trainer from Ninetales' is curse with my entire being. If the trainer is facing danger, it is our duty to protect the trainer with our lives. We Gardevoir are that way. I kept my trainer safe. That alone was enough to make me happy. Protect the trainer even at the risk of your own life. It's amazing what Gardevoir did. Oh, I must mention, I don't mind the form I've taken. I live on this way with the pride, with pride in the role I've been given. Role? Yes. All things have a role. They all serve a purpose. Just as I have my own role to play, you too have a role to fill. You have come here to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. What? What are you saying? Er earthquake No, wait! I need to know more! The next morning. I'm awake. There was an earthquake, wasn't there? I think I had that dream again. I think I spoke with Gardevoir. She said something important. That's it! She did say something. You have come here to perform a certain role. I didn't just see this like 10 seconds ago. Let's show it again. And for that role, he became Pokemon. Gardevoir knows. She knows why I became a Pokemon. She also said something about a role. What did she mean by that? Make a salve. Heck yeah. Save completed. Well, let's get going. Good morning. Huh, what's the matter? Is something wrong? Oh, I get it. That earthquake earlier. Hey, you're worried about the same thing I am. I should have guessed. Alkazam's team hasn't come back yet. They said that Groudon is powerful. That has me a little worried. But Alkazam's team is tough too. They should be fine. Anyway, we agreed to let Alkazam deal with Groudon. We don't have any choice. We have to wait for them to come back. We have to do what we can for our part. So let's do our best with this rescue team. Isn't that awesome? All right, so the story progressed a little bit. What do I got? Uh, um... Who's there? It's Why Not and Wabuffet. Um, I'm Why Not, and this is... Wabuffet. We have a notice on the bulletin board outside the Pelper Post Office. Wabuffet. <laughs> please look at it for me, please, please. Wabuffet. Please help me. I have to go now. Wabafet. Oh, okay, pal. Okay, pal. You you do you. What was that? What was that all about? That little Pokemon. Did the boy say he was why why not? I think he want us to look at the bulletin board. Maybe why not and his friend have a problem on their hands. They may have a help wanted notice on the bulletin board. Only one thing to do. Let's go check the Pelper Post Office bulletin board. Here we go. Punish Bad Mankey. Please punish Bad Mankey's gang. They've been naughty monkeys and they need a spanking. There's a job post on the bulletin board which said punish Bad Mankey. Did you two put up that job? Yep, yep. Wabafet. Bad Mankey Gang is going wild in our forest. Everyone is upset. Wobbuffet. We don't know why they rampage around, but they are always angry and attack anyone they see. Wobbuffet. Oh no, that is a problem. We should go. Thank you, we're counting on you. Why is why is Wobbuffet the only Pokemon that says things like a Pokemon? 
place where the Mankey gang is wrecking havoc on others. The Uproar Forest is now open for exploration. Ooh, Wabafet. So, why not's probably scared. When he grows up, he's gonna get dumber. That's the curse of his. That's the curse of his, his kind. Let's see. What do I have on me? Power band. I should see. I should uh, sell some stuff. Sell some things, of course. Let's see. Uh, how about? Let's see. I don't need these extra ribbons, so let's sell them. This is the the fastest way to get money, by the way. It's just selling the hold items you get. The special band sells for a lot more, doesn't it? Huh. Wabafet's name is basically Japanese for that's the way it is. Okay. So that's what he's trying to say. Ugh. I guess it just didn't translate very well, did it? Let's see. Clear gummy, red gummy. I can store the link box. I don't really need that right now. Mudkip bounces up and down. It's adorable. Chat, would you hug a Cyndaquil and a Mudkip? I would. They'd make they'd make adorable little pets. I should store the Iron Thorns. I don't need those. No. Get out of here. No. Wow, you all suck. I'd hug a Mudkip. A Mudkip, yes. Cyndaquil, maybe. I don't know what's in the quill. But might get maybe. To the uproar forest. Let's go there. How am I liking Fire Warriors? It's fun when I have time to play it. But I am not having much time to play it. The thing I find funny though is when I've been playing as Sakura, after you beat the level and, and, mur and finish murdering like thousands of people with her. Her victory animation has her say, I hope nobody got hurt. And it's like, do you now? Do you, girl? I saw that tweet, yes. There we go. Thing, though, that kind of bugs me is um, with the voice of H Hinoka. Is... It's the same voice actor for, like, um, Amy Rose. So whenever she talks, all I hear is Amy from Sonic. It's just... Exactly... She voices the character exactly the same way. <laughs> and that... It, it's just weird. It sounds really weird to me. Now, let's see. It's kind of reddy, reddish in here, ain't it? I'm only just really noticing now, this this looks exactly like Sinister Woods, except they put, like, a warm filter over all of the assets. Ten floors. I can do this just fine. We're taking our time. Oh, I should have grabbed Kuda. Forgot to do that. My bad. Kuda's actually really useful. High stats, and I've been increasing them with gummies. I should eat with the red gummy I have on me right now. Let me do that. Ooh, it's sunny. You went up significantly. You know what? What am I doing? I got Ember. Oh, Apom's down there. Will you check who you can recruit? Recruit? I'm not really looking to recruit anybody else until, like, post-game and stuff. Because the game really locks you to your partner and yourself most of the time... I just prefer to not worry about recruiting anybody until the main story's done. Besides, Absol is strong enough at, on, on its own to just take with me, too. Does this dungeon have monster houses? That'd be cool. Monster houses are tense, and chat will love it. They'll probably get some clips out of it throughout this whole playthrough. Yippee, that's my level. HP went up by three, attack went up by one. Again, I'm gonna be doing post-game. I'm probably streaming this game and playing the post-game stuff, even after the remake's out, and I'm gonna be playing that. Alright. Monster houses start here. I need you to cut that out, Mr. Seed. Tra 
traps appear here? I thought the traps didn't appear until post-game. I thought it was just wonder tiles until post-game. Get a Mawile on your post-game team. You and your Mawiles. Boop, boop, boop. Now, as for other mystery... I'm, I'm not opposed to playing other Mystery Dungeon games in the future, by the way. Like, a one I do have plans to play, and you can check this out yourself if you've never heard of it, is um, Toho Genso Wanderer. It's on, like, Switch, PS4, and Steam. It's, it's Toho Mystery Dungeon, but according to Dylan, it's absurdly difficult, so... I don't know if it's a good starting point for Toho things. I don't think- I think he recommended against that. I will play that game eventually. I'm also... Maybe March or something, I'll finally get to start Toho Luna Nights. Or maybe- maybe this month. I don't know. I am kind of between a couple things. I could play- I, whenever I feel like it, really. That should be the- that should be the, uh, golden rule. I guess that game, Baroque, I'm also playing with Trevor is Mystery Dungeon as well, but... The game is so weird, and kind of dumb, and the I have no idea what I'm supposed to do kind of way. <laughs> Genso Wanderer is far from the hard, most difficult one, but it is far from the easiest too. Trevor's fine. Luna Knights is pretty nice. I really want to play Luna Knights. It'll be fun. It hit you here. What was I saying? Um, there's also... I haven't played Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. Is that considered good or not, chat? I don't know. And there, I also kind of want to play Etrian Mystery Dungeon. I don't know if I... I might play that on my own. It'd be easier to play a 3DS. Do, 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 do. Etrian Mystery Dungeon seems cool, because it's a Etrian Odyssey, Odyssey, so you get to make your own team and stuff. Of course, I'm being a degenerate, so what I'd probably do is just make my own character, and make every other par party member the Dancer Girls, and then just parade around the dungeons with a harem like a true degenerate. Oops. I know you want me to play Etrian Odyssey, Kuda, and I probably will at some points. Because I, I, I've only really played Persona Q and Persona Q2, which are basically just the pers Persona version of Etrian Odyssey. But when I played Persona Q2, many people probably remember this, but um, my 3DS actually broke in the middle of that playthrough. So I lost the SD card data as a result of that some, as well. I couldn't salvage it. So I had to get a new SD card, because the map data is stored to the SD card. For those that don't know, in that 3DS game, how it works is... On the bottom screen, you draw the map for the dungeon you're exploring. And I lost that data. So I got a new, new 3DS, and I got a new SD card, and after I finished redrawing all the maps, the new SD card broke, and I had to get a new one. It stopped working. So I had to redraw my ma all my maps again, and I finally beat that game. If you play the 3DS versions, are definitely best. The first Etrian Odyssey is a DS game. It looks like an early GBA game to me. I have- I actually own them, Kuda. I, I own them, but I haven't gotten around to them. I have one and two untold, I believe. I have four? Is there a three untold? I don't even remember. I know I have four. Four was the first- it, it, whatever. That, that's- we'll get to that when we get to that. Oh, cool. But, you know, I'd ha if I were to stream them, I'd have to put them on my modded edition. My citrus-flavored 3DS. Let me just eat this ground-eat gummy. IQ went up slightly. Uh, let me just eat an apple here. No three untold, and probably never will. Ah, yeah. That's kind of an unfortunate thing about the moving beyond the 3DS, is that... What do... Can series like Etrian Odyssey even continue? It wouldn't be the same at that point. Like, there were a lot of game series that were just built around the gimmicks of the... I'm gonna eat this, because why not? Oh, it's another one. 
Wonderful. What a waste. I don't think it can. I mean, stuff like Mario Maker had a workaround where, yeah, you can't really use the touchscreen anymore for building levels, but the, they built the controls around it, so it worked fine. This place is incredibly yellow. That's because it's sandstorming right now. Oh, great. Etrian Odyssey 3 is pretty good. There was another Etrian Odyssey game on 3DS, wasn't there? Let's see, there was four, then they made one and two untold, which are basically just re-releases of one and two with X with, with a different story, right? And then there was another one, aside from Mystery Dungeon. Four and five. Was there five? Did they make five? I think I might have that. Shows how much I get to my backlog of games, once again. Come on. Sandstorm is annoying. Yeah, I have five. Four, five, and Nexus. What's Nexus? Not even sure. Let's just get the gummy. Blast seed. Blast seed, I don't need that. Let's just go. I know, Persona 5 Scramble was announced to be released in China and Korea. They confirmed that, but we still have no English confirmation, which is kind of annoying, but I'm still busy with Fire Emblem Warriors, and I have Hyrule Warriors if I want more right away. I still haven't played that game, even though I've wanted to. You know what's funny about Hyrule Warriors is Linkle. When I first heard about that character, I thought they were like... I thought they were basically like what Bowsette was. I thought it was just a thing people made for porn. And I'm like, oh wait, no, that's a real character that they made for Hyrule Warriors. Okay. I mean... Oh, Chestnut. I want to keep- I want to take that with me, don't I? Let me just eat this. Who? Linkle. They made girl- they made a girl Link for Hyrule Warriors. Linkle does seem like a fan character, yeah. Did I pick up the stupid chestnut? Yes, I did. Yes, hunt the chestnuts down. Um, I should- yeah, let me- let me explore the floors thoroughly now. Let me do that. Time for max elixir. Oh, come on. Chestnuts roasting. I need the chestnuts, because I don't want to- I want to avoid making extra trips if I can. Earthquake? Uh-oh. Alright, mister. Gonna need you to cut that out. Let's, uh... Use Blast Seeds, please. Throw the other ones at him. How about that? 20. I need to clear these out. Could've just throw a gravel rock at this damn point. Let's see now. Boop, boop, boop. I think Linkle is what people remember from Hyrule Warriors the most, if I'm being honest. There was also that blue-haired girl that people liked. I heard Hyrule Warriors is really good, but it can be absurdly grindy for what this, for all the stuff you can do in it, which I guess, you know, if you're into it, fine. It is a mindless game. Please tell me I can still buy it. I saw a, a Galaxy 3DS. What are you talking? What are you on about there? Galaxy 3DS, yo. You mean Nairu? No, there was a blue-haired chick. I think her name started with an L. She was like an original character they made for Hyrule Warriors. Lana. Okay, I think that was her name. I'm not sure. I didn't play it. I want to play that game. Again, 2020 is the year I'm going through my backlog of games, and I'm having fun with that. Time for a max elixir. Let's just eat this blast seed first. Ingest. 
What other characters did they end up adding to Hyrule Warriors? Because I remember the DLC being a big deal. What was it? They added, like, uh, Medley from Wind Waker. What's-Her-Face from Link's Awakening. I've never played Link's Awakening. It's, uh, something. Oh, yeah, they added Midna and Wolf Link. I'm sure we'll see. Let's look around. Go loopy loop. We gotta find the chestnuts. But there weren't any chestnuts around. Guess that's that, so we'll go down the next floor. Oh, come on. Stop missing. Burn. Chestnuts are only on the final floor. That would suck. That would really suck. Bulbapedia apparently says you need two chestnuts. Well, I didn't find any more. Huh? What is it, you? We don't like to brag or nothing, but we get furious real easy. You know what? What really irritates us is when we see some dim-witted face. Roar. That vacant expression. Oh, it's ticking me off. I'm seeing red. Yeah, get him. It's frenzy time. All right, then. Boss fight. Uh, I use my blast seeds, but that's fine. Get him, Huggy. I'm gonna need to come back regardless. That's fine. Like, people thought I was gonna beat the game today. I wasn't right at... I don't know why they thought I'd be right at Groudon, but I was not. Like we promised, we showed that monkey gang they shouldn't monkey around. What's a monkey? That should teach him not to be so wild. Everyone, thank you for everything, really. Wabafet. Yes, we're filled with gratitude. This is our thanks. Christian Steam received peeled chestnut. Um, this a peeled chestnut. Yes, it's peeled chestnut. You see, we don't have any money. It be like that sometimes. So we can only give you a chestnut as a reward. Are you unhappy? Um, no, no. We're fine with this. Peeled chestnuts are delicious. I think they're great. Ha, a little money would have been nice. Technically, isn't this the only- this isn't this an outlaw mission I did? Hey, you. Oh no, the Mankey Gang. That's the way it is. The Mankey Gang. They chased us here to get us back. That's right, you. You got lucky. Don't mess with us. We're not gonna lose this time. We'll pulverize you. Mukay, crush them. Is that? Huh? Huh? What did I stop? Whoa, look at that. It's a chestnut. It is. It's a peeled chestnut. What? Oh, dear, dear. Here we go. Whisper, whisper, what are they doing? They look like they're having a discussion. It be like that sometimes. What's going on? Ah, uh, listen. You got something we want. That peeled chestnut you have. Can we have it? We, uh, love peeled chestnuts. Like, we love them so much we can't think of a life without chestnuts. Can't you just get chestnuts by yourselves? You know how chestnuts have that spiky shell? Trying to peel that spiky shell, it hurts. And we end up losing our tempers. That's why we're asking. Give us the peeled chestnut. We'll do whatever you want. Hmm, what do you think? Should we give our peeled chestnut to the Mankey Gang? Yeah, sure, why not? I know! Listen, Mankey Gang, how are you with physical labor? Physical labor? You mean muscle work? We have muscles, but we don't like work. But it's for that peeled chestnut. Okay, okay, this is what we'll do. We're gonna make our rescue team base something more impressive than this. Rescue team base. That's right, a rescue team base. If you would help us with the building of our rescue team base, we could give you this peeled chestnut. How's that sound? Sounds like we're ripping them off big time. Make them do manual labor for a nut. Mudkip is so manipulative. Mutter, 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 mutter. Okay, okay, we'll help. Really? You'll help us? Yeah, leave it to us. Carry in the materials and get the place built double quick. In return, hand over the peeled chestnut. 
Me too, I'll help too. Ugh. I'll spit silk for gluing things together. I'll help too. It be like that sometimes. I felt bad because we only had a peeled chestnut for your reward. It be like that sometimes. Sniff. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Let's get a move on. Okay. Okay. There we go. We're gonna build a base. And so, construction work began on the rescue team base of Team Moomin. Several days later. Look at that. Look at that nice place. Phew! Our base is coming along quickly. Waba Fett. Oh, wait, no, I said it wrong. We owe everyone for this. That's the way it is. But there's still lots to do. We still have difficult things to do. It'd be like that sometimes. That's true. But we're getting close, right, Mankey Gang? Huh? Look, over there! Yeah, what's the matter? We need to keep working. Don't wanna. What? This work's too boring. How do you expect us to keep going? Yeah, that's right. I don't wanna do this anymore. We might change our minds if you get us more peeled chestnuts. What is this about? We just can't be bothered. We need peeled chestnuts to motivate us. We have a problem. I don't think the Mankey Gang will work unless we get them another peeled chestnut. I guess we'll have to give the Mankey Gang any peeled chestnuts we find. They've got standards. I've got one free chestnut, so we'll see how it goes. Good morning! They want the nut. The chestnut. The nuts! Christian play dot flow. Eventually! You know that. You know Dylan's playing it soon anyway, so watch him. We're gonna work hard. We'll finish the rescue team base. It be like that sometimes. Huh? Did you bring us a peeled chestnut? Oh, a chestnut. We want peeled chestnut. Come on, give it to us. Work hard for it. Give. Peel the spiny shell and hand it over. Yes, yes, a peeled chestnut. All right, you layabouts. Get together. Chop, chop. Why don't you quit lounging around yourself? Get moving. We'll get hustling on renovating your rescue team base. Carry in the materials and get the place built. Double quick. You just wait. And so, supplied with another peeled chestnut, the Mankey Gang got motivated. Well, I'm paying them with... I'm, I'm not paying them peanuts, I'm paying them chestnuts. Remember, it's, it's not that bad. They wanted the chestnuts. Return to work on the rescue team base's renovation. As a result, rescue team base's completion moved a little closer. All right. Huh? Did you bring us a peeled chestnut? Why, you don't have any? Then we can't work. You want us to renovate rescue team base, bring a chestnut. When we see chestnuts sometime in our forest. We want them out of the shell. All right, we gotta go, go make another trip, I guess. Let's go give this candy to Kuda first. Kuda, you like candy? I hope you like green candy. Full of energy. Give gummy. Eat it. Just eat it! Attack rose by one. Seen IQ went up. Yes! Special attack rose by one. I like how there's a yes right in front of that. Like like the Home Alone kid just being like, yes! When it when one of his deadly traps goes off and almost kills a grown man. Eat it. Yes, yes, yes. We should get Christian to get the sky blue plains howling forest missions. Missions? What do you mean? Eat the candy. You, it seems to be getting an increase in stats every single time this happens, so that's pretty good. I could say farewell, I could delete you at any time, remember that. Just eat it. The way you said just eat it reminds me of that Weird Al song. That was my reference. 
That was Weird Al's parody of Michael Jackson's Just Beat It. His parody, Just Eat It. <laughs> right, let's make another save right quick. Go to the title and go to Wonder Mail, if I recall correctly. Oh, it's a Wonder Mail thing? I don't know if I want to do that right now. I should probably get you to come with me on this mission, though. You're officially an Absol in all my playthroughs now. That's the rule. Most of his parodies are revolved around food. Hmm. Uproar Forest, that's where we gotta go. I'm okay with that. Well, you better be. You know, random thought, I'm just wondering now. What if Absol was a Pokemon that got like a baby evolution, or got like a baby form in a future game? Chat, if baby Pokemon came back, who do you- who would you want to see get a baby form? Who would you want to see get ignored gameplay-wise, but exploited for merchandise? Absol. Dunsparce. Ew. No one wants baby Dunsparce. Palkia. Now you know that's not happening. Lapras. Skarmory. Oh, it's hailing. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it hail? Lipris. Baby Doduo and Space World was cute. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting Space World Pokemon was a thing. Eevee? Oh, there's not gonna be a baby Eevee. Eevee already is the baby. More or less. Baby Igglybuff. Now, I don't think that's how that works. Fordham. Baby Ditto. Baby Smeargle. <gasps> you can just imagine Baby Smeargle. I feel like there's limitless gimmicks that you can make with that idea. If a gimmick Pokemon like Wobbuffet can get a baby form that literally adds nothing for some reason, then Smeargle can get one too. Baby Smeargle uses a crayon. Grass gummy. Let's see here. I'm gonna find a thing. Why not can learn Encore? Wobbuffet can't. Oh, wow. That's totally worth a baby form. They couldn't have just given Wobbuffet that move in Gen 3. Why not add something? An untranslatable pun. If we're going to talk about useless baby forms, I think Azuril is somehow worse. There was no reason for Azuril to exist. Grass gummy. Getting lots of grass gummies here. Why not gave us Mirage Island? Uh oh. Oh, what a great what a great time to be confused. It exists to be cute. It's Monster House time. And I'm confused. I did not hit the right way. This ain't good. We gotta take him down. It's a m -m 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 monster house. Paralyzed. All right, come on. You got this. Oh crap. Oh oh oh, that might be helpful to me. That's right. That's right. Get fuck, mother. Can I turn? Can I have a turn? Is it my turn to play video game? There we go. How? It's time for a monster house. Oh, what an annoying dungeon to have a monster house occur. Good time, good time to get a drink now, wouldn't it? Let's 
Still paralyzed. I love being paralyzed and confused. It's fun. It's fun. Oh my god. Can I have a turn? No, okay. Par oh, oh, no. You, did you didn't. You didn't. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hit them. You're bad at baby game, Christian. Well, maybe baby game should let me do things. What about that? Maybe Huggy could move forward and let, you know, Kuda come in here and hit things? <sighs> Fucking hell. Bro, item. I'm confused. Will you even guarantee where it goes? Okay, so that hits. Cool. Okay, another one's down. Shockwave dropped. So confusion doesn't affect isn't uh, doesn't affect throwing items. How? Die. No, you don't. You come back. That's right. Suffer. Suffer, you little shit. Listen here. L listen, listen here, Buckaroo. I would love it if my attacks could hit something today. There you go. There you go. Let's go down. Let's go down. Confusion does not affect thrown items. Why? Why would I think that? Yeah, great. Well, now we gotta deal with hail. So... What floor... Does anyone know what floors chestnuts start appearing? Was it only the last floor this could happen? Or what? It's hailing in this forest for some reason. Why would you live here? You know what, chat? Can I admit something embarrassing while we're on this little adventure today? I think it was Mystery Dungeon, and it's probably for a lot of people, where it made them discover all them weird Pokemon fan sites with all the fan fan fiction and stuff. Was I the only one? Is that how? Is that where your first exposure to this stuff showed up? Because Mystery Dungeon just made everybody. It got their it got their minds going, their gears turning. That's only you. No. No. I found Sur uh, Surabi and Bulbapedia through Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That too, I did. I had no internet. Well, what'd you do for fun? Fan fiction. I discovered that somewhere else. You know, the idea of fan fiction gets a bad rap these days because of all the embarrassing, cringy stuff, but, you know. You do you. There's some, I know there's some people, like, they're still, like, writing really long-ass stories for years now, just for fun. It's like, you know what? More power to you. Anyways. Is it only floor nine? I'm gonna look around the rest of this floor for chestnuts, just in case. There's mankeys here, so the mankeys started appearing. Maybe chestnuts. This stream is, hey, y'all, what started your hentai addiction? I think that's a bit of a leap from my initial question, huh? Take it down now. It's only floor nine. Take it down. Technically, our fan games... Fan games are technically fan fiction. In every sense of the word, they're technically fan fiction, yes. There's both good and bad published fiction. Yes, there is. Is it a leap? Oh. It started all right and became awful. Did it? Or did you become... Or was it you that changed, man? Let's find chestnuts, because it's only the last floor, which is this one, apparently. Oh, boy. Take down the monkeys. Monkey gang. Fan works is a general term. Fan fiction tends to only apply the written word. Yes, but in the case of fan games, if you're telling a story, it technically counts as fan fiction, right? Chat, let me ask you something right now. Does such a thing exist as fan nonfiction? How would that work? 
I mean, technically, if you have a fa someone that's a fan of something, and they tell you about themselves, like, their profile or their bio or something, that's technically fan non-fiction, but their written stories are fan fiction. Whoa. I'm blowing minds right now. No, no, no. What? If it's not a part of official canon, it's fanfic. All right, level up time. Up by three, up by one, defense up by one, special deck by one. There we go. Fight it. No, you're just wrong. Okay. I mean, everything nowadays is fan fiction. You can argue that, like, 90% 90, 90 of all these isekai light novels, they're technically just Sword Art Online fan fiction, aren't they? Okay, is it only one per visit? I'm just gonna check and make sure. You've been wrong before, chat. Don't earthquake me, mister. Let's go. Okay, that's literally it. This is a tiny floor. I didn't mean to do that. That's a steamy hot take of the light novel stuff. What would you call it? I'm trapped in another world with all these cute girls and RPG mechanics. Yeah, that's a great original idea, buddy. Let me guess, you've got like four different cute girls, all of which all of which pander to a specific fetish. They're gonna be on the cover of the first four novels. And it's gonna be totally original and awesome. Is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Pokemon fanfiction? Is it? It's impossible to further degenerate. <laughs> Why stop on four? Oh yeah, then you gotta introduce another character. Didn't we do good today? Let's call a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. You know what's always funny about those those um those series is they always have like a main girl. The main girl that's always on like the cover of volume one or whatever. And for some reason. Whenever those series get popular, no one cares about the main girl. They always like, like the like character number three or four, who just explodes and they explode in popularity or something. You know what I mean? Good morning. Flap flap flap. Here they come. What's a good example of that? Um, how about Haruhi Suzumiya, where everyone just ended up really liking Nagato? And the author also really ended up liking Nagato and just ended up writing enti entire stuff around just Nagato. Re-Zero. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's give you a chestnut. Did you bring us peeled chestnuts? Oh, it's chestnut. We want chestnuts. Come on, give it to us. Work hard. Give. Alright. Yes, peeled chestnut. Get to work, monkeys. Put lads around. Mo get moving. Get the popular girls. Aren't you supposed to hate Haruhi, though? I mean, I guess I suppose that's true. Haruhi is intentionally me meant to be an unlikable character, so it maybe it's not the best example. Hmm. What's another good example? What's another good example? There's so many to choose from, and I want to pick a good one. Oh, Chat, what's an example of an anime series where... Char where, main, where the main fe where, where the main heroine is just ends up being not as popular. Sniff, finally. Oh, I thought of a good one. I thought of a good one. Or uh, how do I how do I say the 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 short version of the name? Oreimo. And the one about the with the little sister Kirino. And there was that character that exploded in popularity. Kuroneko. And he had, it, it, that character got so popular that I think when he decided, when the writer started including her more, the dude actually had death threats mailed to him over that. Not even joking. Actual death threats was sent to the guy because he started focusing on that character. It's funny. Look it up. Anyways. Sorry. Get distracted. Sniff. Finally. The day's finally arrived. It's finally ready. Our Moomin's rescue team base. That is the most wholesome sentence ever. 
Yeah. Look at that. You guys ever wanted to enter a Cyndaquil? I should have thought more about that sentence before I opened my mouth. I know what chat's gonna look like when I look over in a moment. It's so cool. Every time I look at your rescue team base, I only see coolness. Good job. Good job. Shut up. Yes, those funny death threats. Okay, maybe that was also a poor choice of wording. It resembles to you. Its resemblance to you has a nice touch. We all worked very hard. It's very hard, but it was worth it. That be like that sometimes. Oh, everyone. Thank you. Say there. There's something I want to ask. If this rescue team base is finished, does that maybe mean you won't bring us peeled chestnuts anymore? Ha, of course. We're finished with work on our rescue team base. To our Mankey gang. Sincerely, thank you for everything. Uh-oh. The music's fading out. Ooh! What? Break it down. What are you doing? Stop that. All right, now listen here, you little, you little piece of crap. As a result of everyone's desperate efforts to stop the Mankey Gang, the rescue team base was saved. As for the Mankey Gang, they've promised to keep up from rampaging. In return for more peeled chestnuts, they return to the forest. And that is how the chaotic renovation of the rescue team base came to an end. Of course you clipped that. You clipped my- you clipped the funny thing he said, ha ha ha. I sleep next to a furnace, because I'm just that hot. Can you still get more chestnuts? Is there even a point to it? Good morning! Check out that flag. Check mail. Game options, wow! Change your options to suit your playstyle. Recent natural disasters. Pokemon affected areas attack any outsiders without hesitation. Some believe a mysterious force is behind their behavior. One source blamed Diglett for curing earthquakes, but the investigative team is skeptical. Wow, Skarmory's just not letting it go. Throw seeds. Seeds can be thrown too. They're usually meant to be eaten, but you know, they can also be thrown to unlock their effects. Toss seeds you don't want it to eat at foes. Throw seeds at friends. Don't be afraid to throw your seeds. Bad wording. Alright, let's do some more missions, I guess. We still have time. We're not gonna be advancing the story anymore, I don't think, but it's fine. Anyways, I was, I was distracted. I was talking about isekai mangoes and stuff. Hmm. How much do you want to deposit? Deposit all. Go to jealously. There's that. Um, should store some stuff too while I can. What else can I also sell? Let's see, I got grass gummy. Thornberry. Pet your berry. Boop, boop, boop. Should have used that heel seed a little earlier, shouldn't I? Forgot I had it. Oh well. Let's see. Eat that. I'm gonna give the gummies to Absol again, because why not? But first, let's go check out this stuff. Hello, post office, bulletin board. I was KO'd in tiny woods. Should I drop what I'm doing to help? Executor. If you're an executor and you died in the tiny woods, I'm sorry, but you you're on your own. Like I'm wasting my time with that. Bring t secret power. No, I fainted. Let's just do this one. Just cause it'll get some good experience from the level high level Pokemon. Do it. Maybe it's a hacked one. I'm just gonna leave this wonder mail here while I BRB in case you want to do the least bit of rescue team base stuff. Do this last bit of rescue team base stuff. Is it the kind of thing? Do I have to go back to the menu for this? Hang on. You know what? I guess I can try it, because why not? I'll try the wonder mail thing. 
Do I need to go back to the main menu? Let me try. I don't think I can soft reset, huh? You need to do this wonder mail. Hang on. Maybe, can I do it at the Pelipper Post Office? What is this wonder mail you're giving me? Not you. Get thank you. No, I don't want that. Uh, it's not SOS mail. Uh, it has to be the main menu. Okay, well, I just saved, so hang on a second. Let me just uh, hit the reset button. I said, let me just hit the reset button that is on every Nintendo DS. Every Nintendo DS. You don't have one? Well, there's something wrong with you. Spike Chunsoft. All right. Wonder Mail. Please enter Wonder Mail password. Hang on a second now. Everybody just... Where did, where did you put it? Where was it now? Let's see. Two... Question mark... 29... M2 plus... M2 plus... Question mark, question mark... Uh, RN1... RN1... Y plus... Okay, Y plus question mark S... And 651R... P9 question mark W. Okay. Let's see now. Where's. There it is. Receive the Wonder Mail. Your adventure will be saved. Let's see. Scroll down. I scroll down and immediately I see someone say, my GF and I are trying to get a pay pig. I, I'm not even going to ask at this point. Let me guess, it's because, yes, Akane was talking about sugar daddies again. Hopefully this wonder mail I got is more, is, uh, more interesting than that conversation. Alrighty, Huggy, what's up? Job list. Please help Natu. Is this the one? Natu has been missing for three days. A rescue is urgently needed. Friend area reward. Okay, this is what you wanted? I guess I'll do this then. Let's go to Mount Blaze, everybody. Visit. Let's give you the gummies first. Give gummy. Eat grass. Attack rose by one. Cook the gummy and eat it. You learned how to not betray me. Congratulations. That's high enough to officially reach mod status, so it's more realistic. Special defense rose by one. Join the team. This Absol's a beast now. Moomin Team Base. This is a happy, wholesome Pokemon stream. Don't inquire about previous statements now. You do have mods that betray you. Do I? Bullet Seed. Oh, this is busted if you have a Grass type. Look at that, you leveled up again. 23. I just realized you're the highest level on the team now. Kuda is more of a friend than Huggy. Yeah, let's ditch Huggy. Huggy is just... He's a toxic friend, as we've been over. Akane betrays all the time, doesn't she? She's, she's just doing her thing sometimes. Let's go down. 
scroll on down. Don't ditch. Hit it. Mud Huggy the Mudkip will be ditched soon enough. Let's see. Was it floor 7? I think it was. Let's hit him. What is this friend area? What, what's so important about it? Why did you want me? Why did you want me to get this? I wonder. Could you didn't give me a cheat? You didn't make me cheat, right? I mean, is this a friend area reward that I'm supposed to happen to get by RNG on the bulletin board, or did you just like generate something for me specifically to use? I'm not honestly not sure. No, no cheat. After you get the reward from this mission, you want to be on the lookout for a job that goes to Howling Forest. You can get it from RNG. You made me cheat, Kuda. Now Sonic fan 2004 is gonna call me out in the YouTube con comments. <laughs> I'm only like half joking about that. Um, funny story. As you know, I, I recently made that Sonic 4 video, and for the most part, lots uh, the majority of comments, like 99%, are just like, "Yeah, man, you're right. This game sucks ass. I hated it too when it came out. I was really disappointed." But then I see someone unironically named something like, yeah, Super Sonic Gamer, or whatever, and they have, like, a picture of Super Sonic, or the cover of Shadow the Hedgehog as their, uh, avatar. And then they're just like, you're stupid. You're just saying Sonic's bad because you want views. You're stupid. Sonic 4 is not- Sonic 4 is the best game ever. Shut up, you freaking loser. Like, unironically, people like that. Are you surprised by this? Oh, I'm not. I'm not surprised. It's just, I like to expect better from humanity. Wow. A couple of them even accused me of not actually playing the game. Which is how, you know, I totally showed... I, I like that, which is why I showed the 100% completion rewards in both games. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Just like Wobbuffet, man. You're expecting a lot of out of humanity. I mean, I plan to do other uh, other uh, videos on Sonic eventually too, so we'll see how well those go. Still kind of, I'm still kind of really annoyed about those games because playing through them was a massive, massive chore, especially Episode One. Oh, Episode One, why? Special stages took me forever. I think it, by the end of it, I had like eight or nine hours playtime on episode one and eight hours playtime on episode two. And both of those, each of those games can be finished in like an hour or so. And maybe more than that. Maybe that's, maybe that's kind of undershooting them, but most of the time I spent playing them was the stupid special stages. Because I wanted to do that. Hmm. You know what's funny is, have you ever played the Your Name the Hedgehog game? Like, googling Your Name the Hedgehog and see what comes up. One time I, I searched up Christian the Hedgehog, and I got a picture of- an MS Paint picture of Sonic praying to Jesus. That was interesting. Very interesting results. Come back, Numel. Come back, Numel. Sonichu? No, I didn't get Son- no, it wasn't Sonichu. Yes, I hate it. Meow. There's a wonder tile. Where's the stairs? Don't need wonder tile now. This is the floor, I guess. Oh, look who it is! Yes. Let's get out of here, Mr. Natu. I'm seeing the post office. Nice. Mission's been completed. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Oh, yeah. My first favorite Christian, the Sonic Chew creator. The Sonic Chew guy is called... Yeah, I know his first name is that. Lots of people like to remind me of that, as if it's a fun trivia fact for me. Did you know you had the same first name as the Sonic Chew guy? As a reward, you can go to the friend area, Sky Blue Plains. You know what I don't understand is... I constantly get recommended videos from these weird people, these weird 
wannabe, wannabe like uh, rant Sona channels, where they they keep talk, they make like 50 or 80 videos on Chris Chan and nothing else. It's like, I don't care. Why don't why does YouTube think I want to watch this? D does anyone else see those? Like, there's literally channels that give weekly updates on what this guy is up to. It's like, who cares? I just don't get it. No. There's literally- I keep getting recommended this one guy. Whose videos are titled like Chris Chan, A Comprehensive History. And it says something like, Part 28. And it's like, why? I don't want to watch that. I care. Hello, Dylan. No. Is it bad outside? No. Okay, this must be better then. That's good. Surprisingly. Never call them Christorians again. Never. Do not, do not use that word again. Good morning. Anyone should stop saying that name before YouTube demonetizes the crap out of me. Cyndaquil's arms are holding torches. You think YouTube recommends them to me because of my name? That might be it. Dylan, have you ever been recommended uh, Chris Chan Comprehend Comprehensive History Part 28? Yes. See? Actually. See? He's been recommended it. I was like, there's 28 parts of this? Yeah, there is. It's a 30-minute video. <laughs> yeah. Confirmation. Me too. See, mine has gotten it. Anyways. Uh, is it because people call you Chris Chan in the comments? I don't think people call me that. Let's make save. Boop, boop, boop. So let's see. You said to be on the lookout for a certain mission. Maybe I should just check the job list for that now. What y'all watching on YouTube? I don't get that recommended. I don't know what I'm watching to get recommended stuff like that. Bulletin board. Smeargle's desperate plea. I didn't want to become a grown-up, so I fled, but now I lost my way. Help. Alright, I guess this is what we're doing. Smeargle's Desperate Plea, huh? That's quite the title. What does it say? Can you read it? He read the letter. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Smeargle. I once had aspirations of becoming an artist. Then one day, there was an incident of an unforgivable nature. I fled because I didn't want to become an adult. Then I lost my way. What is this? Now I see why you wanted me to do this. I now find myself in this forest, unable to extricate myself. I am lost in the howling forest. Somebody. Please save me. He ran away because he didn't want to become an adult? What's this about? I don't really get this, but let's go rescue the Smeargle anyway. Forest in which Smeargle is thought to have gone missing. The Howling Forest is now open for exploration. So I'm unaware of this. I don't recall this being a thing in the game, but all right. I thought Howling Forest was going to be another uh, friend area, so I guess this is cool. Is it because the friend area I unlocked is for Smeargle? Yes, uh, okay. That's the end of that question. Oh, okay. That's why you wanted me to do this, because you wanted me to get a Smeargle. Of Howling, course, you. Of course, people did. Howling Forest is the only place in the game you can recruit Snorlax and Pidgey. I'm not joking. Snorlax and Pidgey? Pidgey. That's weird. Only place. And Pidgey is one of the rarest encounters there. Wait, the can't you find place. Pidgey in Tiny Woods? You can't recruit tiny oh, yeah, you can't recruit anybody in Tiny Woods. I forgot about that. That Pidgey is like level 5. So if you, if you recruit it and it gets hit by anything, it's gone. And I tell you, it actually is fucking impossible to spawn. There we go. Gotta recruit them all, everybody. I think maybe I'll go for full recruits on, like, the remake or something. But I could- if you guys wanted enough, I could try and- in, in this playthrough. If it- if the interest is kept enough, but who knows. Don't worry, I'll get Kecleon right away! Is there a speedrun for recruiting Kecleon? I think someone has to have tried that, where you just beat the whole game and then you start farming Kecleon right away. Cleon wares. Let me sell some things now. I'll just sell bullet seed for now. Bullet seed, you say? 
Kecleon percent exists. Oh. Oh no. Thunderbolt. Ooh. Ooh. Dig is also good. I should take out some money for that. What do you guys think? Should I get both? Take it all out. After this is a good place to stop. I mean, I still have time to go for a little bit, so I'll do Howling Forest. I'm gonna get the bolt and store it. That'll be good on something later on, for sure. Can't afford Dig now, unless I sell something. Just Orenberry is fine. Bye. Dig. Now I have a ground type move. Cyndaquil should be able to learn this. No amount of setup can guarantee Kecleon. Yep. Are you sure no one's found like a way to manipulate RNG? I can learn it. Can I? Chat, what do you think? Should I go for quick... Should I go for dig over quick attack? Because I don't want to get rid of smoke screen. Tackle has the PP and just the utility to keep getting me extra P er, extra experience. Get rid of tackle. You really think so? Ah. Alright. I'll get rid of tackle. Quick attack has nearly half... Whatever. I just... I hoard the max elixirs anyway, so you're probably right. Uh, let me trash this down here. Now let's go down here. Store. You can manipulate RNG, but as far as I know, it's a guess and check with save state. So yeah, you wouldn't be able to really do anything, huh? see now. I spent literally all my money on those two TMs. I I have no money left in the bank, and I have seven Poke Dollars. I hope these, these little discs were worth it. Okay, let's go to Howling Forest now. How tough is Howling Forest? I guess we'll find out. It's after Uproar Forest, so it must be tough. Maybe. I've never... So I've never been here before. This is all new to me, so let's be careful. Uproar. Why well, am I not surprised you're here for this? Uh, hang on. I'll make quick attack my set move now, but let's use dig. Nice. He really tries to attack Cyndaquil over Huggy. That's that. He's stupid. What a stupid, stupid. Spoink you, Psywave. Well, Spoink can go screw himself. How about that? 198, okay, so it doesn't see it seems like a step up so far, but I might have to be a little careful, but we'll be fine. Allure seed, oh my. What does that mean? Food item that gives the Pokemon cross-eyed status. Also fills the Pokemon belly? What? Pokemon sees hallucinations. Oh no, 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 no. No one should be eating this seed. I don't think, I think this is against the Pokemon world regulations. Other Pokemon items on the ground take different appearances. The effect lasts set amount of turns. Oh dear. Hey kid, you wanna try some Allure Seeds? Come on, it'll be cool, just try it. Whoa. Well, bad. Whoa. Don't do drugs, kids. Eat it on the next floor. No, I'm not gonna do that. Poochie! And I missed. Get the Poochie. No, you ain't going nowhere, mister. Poochie and a joint. Oh, you guys. Oh, should I get a Poochie? How about you get a Poochie? Poochie friend! Give it a nickname. What should I name the Poochie? Uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't nickname everybody. 
It would get really confusing later on and, and with the way Mystery Dungeon does its interfaces, especially in red and blue. I think I shouldn't nickname Doggo. Yes, name him Poochie. Poochie, Eddie. <laughs> Doggo. Name him Poochie. Popper. Popster. Name it Akane, so I'll shut up. <laughs> You're n you can't threaten me like that. It's gotta be puppies. Call it mine. Oh, everybody just wants to make it this- make my reward all about them now. You know what? Fine. No one gets a name now. Deal with it. Let's go together. Level 20. Well, I could see that on the other screen. I wasn't looking. Alright, so I guess I should move on to the next floor then. How about that? Oh no. I got half the name. It's raining now. What floor was, um, Smeargle on, I wonder? Stun Seed. You, news, you lose new recruits and rescue team if you let them die. Okay. So, is it an Explorer's Onward or something where they stay even if they faint? Come on, slap. Odor Sleuth, Hound Hours, and a Ghost Type. Uh oh. You don't attack him, mister. Yeah, that's what Dome was saying about like the Pidgey a second ago. Ooh, yeah. Destroyed. Dig time! Dig, 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 dig! You can't send people home. If you want to get a specific, uh, recruit, then you basically just want to come with an escape orb. Let's see now. Let's see. Burn it! Burn to the ground! Disable Poochie's useless moves. Should do that. Uh, maybe Sand Attack wouldn't be the best thing that for him to not be using. How about that? Burn the ground! Burn the ground! I can't do it. I can't do an impression of that. My favorite Mega Man quote will always be that that at Mega Man X game, where Zero has the really bad voice acting. No! no! This can't be happening! This can't be happening! What are we fighting for? <laughs> I love that clip so much. I've never played that game. It's the only thing I've seen from that game. But it's hilarious. Did you set a new move? I turned off Odor Sleuth, is what you mean. I think I'm gonna set Ember. I don't have Tackle anymore. Was that X7 or X4? I'm pretty sure it was- yeah, people are saying it's X4. The voice acting was so bad, or the English voice acting, rather, was so bad, that the game after that, they didn't even bother to dub it. Because <laughs> they knew people hated it. It's weird to think how, like, um... A lot of old video games, the reason they had bad voice acting was just because... Well, mo mostly bad English voice acting. There was still bad Japanese voice acting for a lot of different games, though, don't get me wrong. Is I guess, like, video games weren't se weren't seen as, like, um... A medium that, like, needed to have good voice acting? I think it was, like, um... Metal Gear Solid was, like, one of the first things to kind of, like, uh, change- Help change that perception a bit. If I'm not mistaken. No, my precious power ring is melting. Burn. Mmm, Colonel. I mean, yeah, it's, it, it, Metal Gear Solid is definitely meme but... It was notable back then for being, like, uh, like a PS1 game that, like, they hired actual... Pe actually talented people for the full cast. 
House of the Dead 2. It's fucking great. Oh yeah, House of the Dead 2 has got some great old school voice acting. Dogs of the AMS. Uh. Oh no, gee. No, no, don't come. Don't kill me. Go away. Kuda is poisoned, by the way. Kuda is not poisoned anymore, by the way. I know. I don't have Petra Berry. Let's boop some money right there. All right, I have Ember set. That's what I did, so I should stop. Oh, right. Physical moves are better against the Porker. All right. First game, I remember voice acting. I remember voice acting was Silent Hill 2. I know that apparently, like, uh, one of the most infamous English dubs was the original Resident Evil. No, Jill, stop! Don't open that door! But it's funny, is apparently, like, the devs said that they recorded both English and Japanese audio. But they said that the Japanese audio was really bad, so they're like, nah, let's just do English. So, they didn't- it was a situation where they didn't realize how bad the English voice acting was. You are almost a Jill sandwich. In some countries, the voice acting for video games and animes is sp still bad because companies think, think it's a good idea to hire YouTubers. Um, what kind? What country is you talking about? Like, are you talking about just, like, uh, North America for, like, English dubs? Or are you talking about, like, um, like, something like Spanish or French dubs? Because I'm unaware of how dub dubbing would work for them. I do know that there are some people that have gone from... Like, that started out doing, like, YouTube stuff that now have, like, legit voice acting careers, though. Let's see. Roll call orb. Also, we've changed, um, and like, the way the entire dungeon works now. Or looks, rather. Just dig and let him come to me. It doesn't look like a forest, I know. Let's see now. Uh, let me try this. Okay, I can see where items are. Maybe I can get some stuff here. Spanish, I heard, is just the worst. Well, I don't watch his Spanish dubs of anime, so I can't not confirm your, what you've heard, I'm afraid. Roll call orb. That's just that thing again. Escape orb. It's like 415, I think. I should told I should voice hentai. Of course you were. And I guess now would be a good time to to uh, remind people of this one funny story. Um So you all know who Dan Green is, right? The voice of of Yugi in Yu-Gi-Oh. Everybody's got to recognize his name by this this point. And I guess, uh, on a topical reference, he was also Grovile in the Mystery Dungeon special. English dub, anyway. But yeah, he's Yugi. And, so, fun fact, his name actually isn't Dan Green. I forget what his actual name is, but you can look it up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, good, 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 good. Don't, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Yeah, his name actually isn't Dan Green, and the reason behind that is, um... He actually started voice acting by dubbing hentai. So, he didn't want to use his real name for obvious reasons, but he... He ended up just continuing to use that name for all his voice acting work. So, even though his name isn't actually Dan Green, everyone just knows him as that. Don't hit the poochie. Don't hit- don't hit that poochie. You- you- you leave that pupper alone right now. Let's hit- Ugh. Hit the dig. Houndoom cringed. 
but it's funny. I've I, I got curious and I looked up some of the clips of some clips from things that he's uh, voiced. Not explicit stuff, by the way. I want to clarify that. But it's just kind of, it's really surreal to hear his voice and things like that. I guess yeah, he was also Knuckles in Sonic X. Now that I'm thinking about it, if you want more reference, if you didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh, Christian watch porn. It's funny because. A lot of popular English voice actors you may have heard of, they did they did um, start out by doing stuff like that. A lot of them are kind of ashamed of it and don't really talk about it. I think it was like, uh, what was it? I think it was uh, in an interview or something. What was her name? Brittany Karbowski? She said something about like, yeah, it's like everybody starts doing that. They shouldn't be, ever, no, people shouldn't be ashamed of it. What did I just do? <laughs> what did I do? I made a dum dum. Well, this is what we have the roll call orb for. Everybody, come to me. Perfect. Let's beat this sucker up. You abandon your team. I didn't mean to fall. I didn't know that falling in water would warp me. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't expect to fall in the water. Rather, grass gummy. Oh yeah. Brown gummy. Let me eat an apple in case I get hungry. Belly was filled. Well, let's see now. Uh oh, no no no, you leave that you leave it. You, you, you don't touch don't 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 attack pupper. If I remember correctly, the VA of Eggman and Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh! Star and a Ratatouille knockoff. Yeah, I know, I've seen, I've seen, I know what you're talking about. A lot of the four kids voice actors have starred in a lot of those bootleg movies, including Dan Green himself, or whatever his name is. Like, I've seen, like, we've all seen, like, YouTube reviews of those really crappy, like, Pixar knockoffs, DreamWorks knockoff movies. And you'd be very surprised at how often you'd hear, like, former four, former four kids voice actors on those. I mean, hey, work is work, but it's like, you know, you just want to be like, man, you, you could do better than this, man. You're Mike Pollock. Is it, is that how you say it, Pollock? You gotta start somewhere. Yeah, but th th this isn't them starting, though. It's like, man, you can go further than this. Money's money. It's money, man. Money, money, money. You know what's funny is, I recently heard that, like, um... The, like, the original voice of Leonardo in the 80s Ninja Turtles movie... Or, not movie. Ninja Turtles cartoon. He's still vo he's still voice acting and doing roles. I think... he He's done some recent stuff that you might recognize, but I'm not sure. I don't know who know his name. Does anyone want to tell me off the top of my... Anyone know off the top of my head know what they're talking about? Know what I'm talking about? Because I think he's done things. Cam Clark, is that his name? Like, I'm talking like original Leonardo from like 80s Ninja Turtles. What's he what's he been up to? Someone wanna do a quick a quick uh Wikipedia search or something for me? Cause I know that um Like in in the 2003 Ninja Turtles special, they uh they had a, they had a, I'll just keep tacking like this. They had a crossover special where the turtles in that series, they meet the, the turtles from the 80s cartoon. And Leonardo was the only one to have his original voice actor for that special. So it might be Cam Clark. Fire Emblem? Oh, he's Corrin? Really? Original Leonardo is Corrin? Well, male Corrin, obviously. Okay, that's cool. Like Corrin and Smash? He's the, he's the one that goes, I won! Corn. Original Leo was Liquid Snake. Really? Cam Clark is all of us on this blessed day. He's the one that he's the one that says like, "Hello, brother." That's that was original Leonardo. Oh man. 
know that com you know that cartoon original Ninja Turtles was like a bit before my time but I still like uh come I don't really need that I might sell it let me throw a escape orb away Did you okay good 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 yeah, let's see Dr. Mobius and Fallout New Vegas. Keep telling me more. I'm curious what this man's been up to. Do I have a max elixir? I do, actually. I should this should be my first thing. Splash. Splash does damage in this game. I forgot about that, apparently. Yeah, but yeah, I... I original Ninja Turtles were, like, before my time, but I had, like, some VHSs. Some VHSs. Some VHS tapes. With the of, of the old cartoon, and I used to watch them all the time as a kid. That's pretty cool. How man must be old. Must also be like, uh, who's another really old voice actor that's still? Oh yeah, Frank Welker. That dude's been doing like Fred's voice for in, like every Scooby Doo iteration. Was he original Fred? No, he he. he is it? I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. Oh yeah, also Jim Cummings. That guy's voice. He was. Like, Frank Welker was like Fred on like the old, old original Scooby-Doo and he just kept reprising his role in every single iteration. That'd be pretty damn cool. Original Fred is dead? Oh, okay. I guess not. Frank Welker was original Fred. Okay, maybe you're maybe someone's wrong then here. Maybe he's they like they don't understand. How old is Frank Welker? Well, fun fact about Frank Welker actually is um he actually did an official Cartoon Network uh uh oh uh oh uh oh an official like a little little not like commercial but like I guess uh oh no, no don't run away you dumbass like an official TV spot thing. Where he literally swears and go goes off. It's funny. Look it up. As he vo he's also he's Fred and Scooby Doo. Come along, friends. Oh yes, I've seen that. Runaway is annoying. Rebound, rebound orb. Howling Force fifteen. Finally. I guess yeah. Mark Hamill still does the Joker once in a while. Isn't like Mark Hamill. Voicing like what what's his face in the Final Fantasy 7 remake the dude that owns the um uh, Let's say club. Oh I've lost my bearings. Where is this? I Can't get out. I'm hungry. I'm in trouble Hello, mr. Smeargle. Oh you are Did you maybe come to rescue me am I glad to see you? Yes, we rescued him now let's warp out of here. Thank you so much. You saved me from that great peril. No problem, Smeargle. But what made you run away in the first place? Your letter said something about not wanting to become an adult. That is. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look, there he is. Yeah, I see him. We got to get him back quick. More Smeargle. Two of them. Hey, Smeargle. What do they want? There. My friends. Now come with us. The grown-up ritual is ready for you. Quit fighting this. Have the paw print applied without a fuss. N no. If I have to get that paw print on my back, I'd rather not become a grown-up. He still has it on his sprite there, though, doesn't he? What was that? What grown-up grown ritual? It's a custom among us, Smeargle. When we reach a certain age, they mark our backs with paw prints to show we are grown up. They do that by taking the front paw and pushing down on the back. I can't live with anything so tasteless. I have dreams of creating great art, and so I have standards for design that I swear by. Okay. I know. I have decided. I shall join his rescue team. I will participate in your rescue activities. So, I won't return to the pack. This is where I will dedicate myself. Is that so? Then there's nothing we can do. 
We will inform our elders of your decision. We wish you luck in your new career as a rescuer. Okay, man. Oh, wow, that's one pushy way of getting a job. That's okay. You're on the team now. We expect your best, Smeargle. Yes, thank you. One thing I'm good at is drawing and painting. For example, let me see. Oh, oh, how about this? Oh, he's got, he's got, he draw the flag. Observe the design that is the flag. I could perhaps redesign the flag. If you wish to alter the flag's design, you must tell me, please. Smeargle, join the rescue team. You give a nickname to Smeargle? Of course I will. And we're gonna name this one. There we go. Perfect. Name Jabba Damazo okay? Yes. I will find my own place in the sky blue plains. Until then. The rescue area is Rujiche. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I will. All right. Jabba the Damazo. Save completed. He's ready to try his best every day. You're welcome. Okay, fine, Kuda. Thank you. You gave us, you gave us the wonderful little Smeargle friend for the team. But all right. I think would now would probably be a good time to call it an episode. I'd say so. We've been going nearly two and a half hours, and we got some things done. Probably just a couple more rescue missions, and we'd go ahead and unlock the next sto big story mission. But, now is as good a place as any to stop. Thank you all for watching, and uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.